Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. We're going to be continuing with our UV Editor tools. And a really easy way to open the UV Editor is simply in the Polygons shelf tab here. All the way to the right, we have this green uh, square with a checkerboard pattern in the middle. This little icon here opens if you click it, the UV Editor. So the tool that we're going to be working with today in the tool menu is Unfold UV Tool and the Optimize UV Tool. The reason why this video will go over both, you'll see in a moment. First, we need something in our scene that has UVs that we can use these tools on, though. So I'm going to minimize the UV editor for now. I'm going to go to the Sculpting tab, open the visor for sculpting base meshes, and let that load. And here you have folders for different categories of objects that come with Maya that are pre-built. And I'm just going to... let's look at weapons. we got swords and guns and stuff. Let's choose a gun. I don't know, that might be interesting. Right click on it and import the Maya file. And here we have our gun that was provided by Maya. And we're going to hide the grid just so we don't see it, like so. So with our objects selected, we can reopen the UV editor here. And you can see it laid out here, all the UVs. I'm going to click this little button here. It looks like uh, two mountains in the sun. Click that to just toggle the texture off, which the texture right now is simply this kind of peach color, which we don't really need right now. And so these are the UVs of the pistol that came with Maya. Now these are all laid out pretty cleanly, so we might have to fiddle with them a little bit to make the tools do something, but we can kind of look and see what happens when we use the tools on these different areas of the pistol as they're laid out here in the UV editor. So let's go to the tool menu in the UV editor, and down here we have our first green highlighted tool that we'll be talking about since we've started going over the UV editor tools. These green brackets indicating that these tools are new in Maya 2016. These are, very, these are brand spanking new in the newest version of Maya. So unfold UV tool, and we can go into the options here. I'm just going to move this over like this, so we have our options displayed here. And you'll notice right away in the UV editor I have this red circle indicating a brush size around my cursor. And here under our unfold 3D brush options we have mode, which is unfold, and then we have optimize. Now optimize is another tool here. We have tool optimize UV tool. So if we were to toggle between unfold and optimize, we're actually changing our tool from the unfold UV tool, which you can see listed right here in the tool settings uh, box, to the optimize UV tool, which also makes the surface angle uh, setting become available. With unfold, surface angle is grayed out. So these are actually two tools rolled into one where you change between them using the mode option. So right now we're seeing the unfold UV tool here. If I go to tool, optimize UV tool options, we're simply changing that mode over and the surface angle becomes available and we switch it to the optimize UV tool options. So this is why we're going to be going over both in one video. This is essentially the same tool. Now over here in the uh, tool shortcuts up here on the top of the UV editor, these two buttons that are stacked on top of each other represent the unfold UV tool here and below that is the optimize UV tool. So both of these two on the far left of this green bracketed area of these tools are the ones that we're talking about today. So I'm going to reset the tool. I'm using the unfold UV tool options first. The mode is set to unfold. And let's just kind of see what happens when we use the unfold on, say, this kind of dense area right here. Now before I do that, there is a shortcut key I can use to toggle the brush size, which right here you can see is set with a slider and the default value is 0.1. So what I can do is hold down the B key, B as in boy, left click and drag, and I can change the brush size easily with that shortcut setting, holding down the B key and just left clicking and dragging to change that brush size. And you can see how the brush size slider over here will update based on the changes I've made. Or you can simply change the slider value and the brush size will change also. B, left click and drag. And let's just get a uh, kind of a medium sized brush here. And with our current settings, with our brush pressure at 0.5 and our iterations at 1, which is our default values, I'm just going to left click and drag over these UVs. Now it is a little bit choppy on my machine at least. It is taking some computational power 
to make this work so it's kind of a slow uh, process I'll let go but it is kind of shifting the UVs around but it is kind of a slow thing at least on my machine your machine might be more powerful than mine so you might have uh, faster results you can see as I brush along the outer edge of this UV shell how it's kind of shifting them upwards and the direction of my stroke doesn't really affect the direction that the unfold happens if I left click and go down it doesn't make the UVs unfold downwards it just simply unfolds them based on the pressure and iterations that we have set and you're just kind of applying the settings by left clicking and dragging over the UVs now you might not notice much of a real difference I'm going to undo and redo so I'm pressing Z to undo shift Z to redo so undoing you can see this is the original uh, UV layout of these UVs here and then redoing you can see the effect after the unfold happened and it's not a big difference but there is obviously shifting them around you'll probably find much starker contrast of effects with a mesh that's much more uh, tangled because right now the unfolding essentially this mesh has already been essentially unfolded and let's see what the optimize uh, UV tool has an effect on this same area that we were unfolding before so again it's kind of a subtle sh kind of shifting around of the UVs let me uh, make my brush a little smaller and as I brush along this outer edge of UVs you'll see they don't really move hardly at all while the unfold as I brush along it does kind of move them up and, and around as it's attempting to unfold the UVs as opposed to optimize the UVs it's a subtle difference which you know it depends on the project that you're working on and what would work perhaps the best but essentially the gist of this tool is to take your UVs and attempt to untangle them with this UV layout they're not tangled up at all and so it's um, not really having much of an effect so here we have the human head that again that comes with the sculpting meshes with Maya and I'm just going to create some nostrils and I used this trick in a previous video I made where I used the uh, extrude tool to extrude into the nose a couple of nostrils like so So if I go back to the UV editor, and here you can see the UVs of that human head. If I select the UVs I extruded, you can see them highlight here, and we'll scale them like so. Do the same with this one. So these these are the nostril faces that have been pushed up into the nose. And I'm going to take these and just kind of move them over here and scale them around and just kind of really overlap them in a not a very nice way you wouldn't want this in your uh, final mesh so if I use my unfold and optimize tools on this little section let's see what happens so I'm gonna go to tool unfold UV tool and go into the options I need to decrease the size of my brush hold down the B key left click and drag so then I'm gonna reset my tool so I have here the unfold tool brush size is 0.1 brush pressure is 0.5 again make sure I make my brush small enough because I reset it so I'm just going to use kind of drag over this nostril area and you kind of see what happens like that so it it really tried to move it back over here and unfold it right like so it has this kind of twisting motion but let's look at the optimize tool and let's kind of see what happens with with this so you see it kind of did the same things not much not as much twisting going on but in the nostril face is a bit bigger than the unfold tool did so it's just different results and now because my tool has helped me to untangle those UVs I can then right click and choose UV and maybe select them and if I want to rotate them I can 
you know, it makes it easier to select these UVs and adjust them after they've been unfolded or optimized. So those tools are not necessarily a means to an end. They're not. Those tools are not necessarily the end-all, be-all of uh, unfolding a mesh, but they can be helpful, especially in tangled areas. So let's talk about optimize a little bit. We've already talked about brush pressure and iterations and brush size, but then we also have this surface angle. And when I hit reset, the surface angle's default value is one. So the surface angle here is trying to minimize like stretching on the UVs so that the uh, resulting UVs are optimized, hence the name of the tool, in a way that is not uh, resulting in any stretches or shearing of your texture. Let me grab these UVs and just kind of pull them up here again and go back to the optimize tool here. So the surface angle of one. And let me decrease my brush size because it's too big for what I'm doing right now. So surface angle of one, when I drag over these UVs like so, it pushes it all back down into this square down here. So let me undo. And let's try a lower surface angle and see what results we get, if anything different. So it pushes them all down there, but you can see that the surface area or the size of that nostril face is smaller. And that's just with the surface angle lowered a little bit. And this is such a small area that you're not going to get a big difference, but you can hopefully can understand the optimized surface area for that area has been not kept to as cleanly. And it's difficult to explain it, so I'm not sure how good of an example that was for the unfold and optimize UV tool, but uh, hopefully you can just you can try it out on your own projects and see the results. Personally I tend to shy away from tools that use brushes like this for UV layouts. I tend to do it more by hand, which might, maybe I'm doing it the old-fashioned way and maybe it is nicer to have an unfold tool like this. Uh, I tend to lean toward doing a lot of that kind, of, this kind of work myself, so it's not quite so the reliant on a brush stroke, so to speak, and you're, it's more controlled, but it could like I was saying, it could be useful for really large clumps of tangled UVs to hopefully unfold those UVs or at least spread them out enough and lay them out enough that you can then work with them easier. I don't know, I'm not really sold on these two tools myself, but uh, if you guys have any input on whether you like these tools or not, f feel free to let me know and maybe you can bring me around. That's the unfold UV tool and the optimize UV tool. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely give me any comments. Definitely any, if you have any uh, suggestions or comments for videos in the future, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.